Hey everybody, it's Garrett with The Tuning School and on this week's Tech Tuesday, we're gonna talk about the new HB Tuners template applicator function on the new Beta 4.3 software. All right, on the new HP Tuners beta software that we're using, we can work with the template applicator in this function here. So I'm gonna work you through the entire process of exactly how you would use this. Now, if you're somebody that is tuning a lot of the same vehicle, so for instance, I have a 15 charger that I've been tuning a lot of boosted applications on. I might be able to use this template that I'm building right now for the next car that comes into the shop. So when I say that, what I mean is I'm consistently making the same changes. So why am I working so hard and taking 10 to 15 minutes on every single one when I can now build a template to within 30 seconds, I can be able to use that onto each tune file. So let's dive right in. As we take a look here, you can see in all of these red cells here, we've done a lot of changes on this base tune to this entire vehicle. So what we're gonna do is now head on up to the top here into our tools section, and we're gonna go into this template editor. And what that's gonna do is be able to pull all of our data into this to be able to build this template for us. So when I click on this, we can see we have a blank setting here. We need to create this new file. So as I create new file, we have a file built and now we need to pull in all of the parameters for this. So I'm simply gonna move over to the import unsaved parameters. As we do that, it might take a little bit because once again, there's a lot of different things that we have just changed. So you can see it taking a little bit of time, but keep in mind, this is gonna save us quite a bit of time on the next vehicle that we have come in. We can now see all of the changes that we've made for this vehicle, and this is gonna be all the things we're gonna save into the template. So all I simply need to do now is hit the save button and save it as, in this case, I'm gonna save it as a 15 charger forced induction template. As I save this, now what can happen is the next time I bring a vehicle in, I can use all of these basic settings right here on that vehicle. So I'm bringing in a stock vehicle. I'm gonna bring in a 2015 Charger that's gonna be a forced induction system that has the same exact setup or very, very similar too. So I go ahead and I read that file out of this. And I have now my first read file out of this vehicle here. So when I grab that first read out of it, now what we can do is use this template to be able to lay right over top of the tune file. As you can see, I have my stock tune file loaded up here. There is no changes to this stock tune file at all. Now what I need to do is go into my edit tab. So before we went into the tools to be able to build the template, the template is saved in there now. So what we need to do is go into our edit to pull all of that data in. So once we move down to the template applicator now, we can go ahead and pull in now our 15 charger force induction template. You can see all of the different things that it is now gonna be able to add in on this entire tune file. All I need to do is simply move over to my apply changes and apply them and simply watch them all add into this. You can see all the ones that have had success or if any have failed and it will be able to help you out and tell you which ones you have failed also. Once I have added all this in, I can now hit X and we can take a surf through and see exactly all the things that's changed. So you can see here, just for the time allowed right here, we would have had a lot of axis changes and a lot of table changes that would have taken us quite a bit of time. And now it's saved us that time for all of those next vehicles that come in that are similar to this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. Now drop a comment below on what vehicles that you're gonna be commonly using this new HP Tuners template feature on. And make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube account and follow us on social media. And as always, stay tuned.